you guys, what's up? Shadow here, welcome back to Space Engineers! And we're back at our own base, finally! Oh, and hoo -hoo, almost dead! Genius! Great start! <laughs> and yeah, so we came back for our mining trip yester uh, yesterday? No, uh, last time, I mean. And now we gotta fill up our, our little spacecraft here with the necessary things to build all the windows and whatnot. So a bit more um, armor glass panes or what no it's just glass panes whatever and um, some girders and actually I was <laughs> it's kind of funny I just saw that um, right before I started the session uh, let me just um, bring that up here for a second there we go and I was browsing through the official Space Engineers Facebook page because that's always like a good source to see if there's anything going on, you know, updates, whatnot. Um, and I saw something very interesting. Actually, that was posted, I think, a week ago, but I didn't saw it back then. And uh, basically, it was a, a, a small post of the Space Engineers team um, to a, a link to a, um, a mod in the workshop. It was like a tank cannon mod pretty nice looking one you know just the cannon nothing else and then somebody commented below that um, in a sarcastic way they were like yeah still not vanilla smiley face and uh, actually the space engineers Facebook team whatever you want to call that answered and said um, Thanks for the comment, Keen is very grateful, yada yada. We're currently focused on optimizing multiplayer and polishing existing features in Space Engineers. However, once this is complete, there will be definitely new features and new blocks in the long-term future. That's actually the first time I've really seen like an official statement that is not like, um, not right now. But it, because the thing is, um, with the last live stream, you know, where they jokingly was dubbed the not right now stream or whatever it was called um, not at the moment where they basically did the same thing that the um, the no man's sky devs did by they did not say that it that it was not the case they just um, they didn't deny it you know it's kind of a negative way of, of saying yes to something you don't say it exists but you you say it, it does do I make sense here? They do like a, a, a negative statement, so like, oh yeah, we don't have plans at the moment. That doesn't mean they don't have any plans, just not at the moment. And here's like the first positive statement that I've seen. They're like, yes, we are working on some, uh, we will be working on something else later. And that's kind of interesting, actually. I don't know why I have never seen something like that. It's kind of weird. Maybe I've not been looking hard enough. Could be, right? But yeah, um, with this, we have completed our bridge, um, lower part, um, exterior wall completely now. Meaning, now it's um, time to design the top part. And for that, let's just put this in here as a um, outline for the upper, like the limit. The, um, this is where the ceiling is going to be. Well, it Technically, we could also even make the ceiling look a little bit larger by putting in a slope block here and then beginning the ceiling at the top. Um, not sure about that, though. First, let's grab some stairs and try to make a, a good-looking staircase. Um, the question is, how are we going to do this? I... Since I like symmetry, I'm thinking of doing something like having like a dual staircase, like one on the left side here and one on the right side, and then go forward and join together and go back. Something like that. I, I'm not 100% sure yet, but let me just um, grab the necessary things to... Um, uh, well, that's not the right inventory. This is the right inventory. I think this we need to place. Yeah. So... How many stairs would, you ha would we have to place if we want to cross, um, what is it, one, two, three, four, four blocks in height? That means we would have to um, put in two of these, no, four of these, obviously, to cover the height, just to 
Let me just do it out here real quick, just to, for a demonstration purposes. So, whoops, we have to put in four staircases, which will cover a height of four and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks in length. And this part right here is one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh god, that's it's sometimes really hard to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blocks in width. So technically we could do that. It would take away a little bit of space, but we could totally do that. On the other hand, we could do it a lot easier and do just this. A double staircase, like that. It would be much shorter and um, would take up way less space. I'm actually in favor of that. And to be fair, in most ships I do, um, I put the stairs like that. Because they're kinda like ladders, almost. Not quite, but almost. So, um, let's just put them here, why not? And yes, we're, we're doing two of them. And then we're putting uh, these here, just to make them look equally thick at every part of the stair. Like that. Yes. Um, although, now I have to think, because this is the level where the floor is gonna be at, and therefore this must be like that. Otherwise it will look kinda weird. Right, um, can I weld these first before I start um, putting in some more stuff? Otherwise this is going to be a hell of an uh, awkward situation to weld these when, when I'm putting the roof on it already. Let's try that, shall we? Yes. Very good. Um, okay, now for the light armor blocks. I mean, we're, if we're already welding, we might as well do these as well. While we're at it. And then I think we'll do the, the roof first, and then we can decide what the floor plan is going to be of the upper level. And how it's going to look like. And what we exactly we will put in to the top floor, you know? Oh, actually, I should also already pull up the um, uh, the the conveyors because I'm right now. I'm thinking about um, the possibility of putting a door between the staircase and the upper deck, just so uh, from a logical standpoint, like in case there is a hull breach on the um, observation deck, that you can like close off the the bridge. So you can still have an oxygen-rich um, environment there. Otherwise, that would not be possible. So, oh damn it! Well, just let's just do that, shall we? There we go. So, um, for that, we would have to put a, a door somewhere here. Let me just put in the. Um, floor slash roof right now that again is gonna be a ton of steel blocks also I wanna then check how the the lower room the observation deck actually looks like if the the roof is completely done how spacious it looks if it looks good enough right I think it does but the thing is we as I said before we could make it look a little bit bigger if we put on a, a, um, a slope at the edge and then put the roof one block higher but the problem with that is then if it's one block higher then these kind of stairs don't really work or if if you want to put them in you have to put in three and then you're one block higher than you should be and that looks weird and then you either have to have like a double block roof slash floor which is kind of a waste or you have to put in more stairs to get you one block down again, which looks kind of ridiculous in my opinion, because you go up the stairs to go down the stairs, and that's kind of stupid. 
At least I think it's kind of weird or unnecessary, I think is the right word. So, yes. Oh, oh it's so annoying. So, so annoying to do this. You know, funny thing, I actually um, downloaded Empyrean once again. Because I'm always... Sometimes I get into the habit of downloading old games again, then playing them for an hour and then deinstalling them again. And the thing is, I like Empyrean, I really do, and I like the, the way Empyrean is built, but the building system in that game, ah, uh, it drives me nuts. Even though it has way more blocks than Space Engineers, way more block forms, because I'm so used to the Space Engineers way of doing things, uh, I, I just can't get around the way um, Empyrean does things in building mode. I, especially in, in um, maybe it's better in survival, but especially in creative mode, it's an absolute hassle. Also, that you have to like make a base block every time you want to build a building. So you cannot really do, at least I couldn't really do decorative buildings without every time building a base block, which then will put a, like a, a marker on the map and then if you like what to create a village it will have like 20 markers on the map which is stupid as hell but yeah maybe I haven't just just haven't played Empyrean enough to actually figure out how to do this stuff but as I said that's why I, I, I want would want to have like several games put together in one because in Space Engineers I really dig the building system how you build things um you know the design of it how how the builder works how placing stuff works in empyrean i like the survival aspect and the richness of the worlds plus the, the different blocks and for example in conan exiles just to name another survival game even it's if it's not space themed i like the thrall system i really dig the thrall system it's, it's one of the best things i have seen in, in many years when it comes to like NPCs um, in your single player game you know so you can like kind of create your own towns with a lot of thralls if you want to which I I dig for some reason I like to create like rich um, like towns in my single player world just to make it feel a little bit more lively right all right, let's. Uh, we should get some new um, steel blocks because we have run out. It seems. Ah, oh, Jesus. Welder and steel plates. Do we even? Oh yeah, twenty-four thousand steel plates still in the bank. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's get a few less of those and a few more of those. Made a little bit. Little bit excessive amount of girders, it seems. Um, I think we still have enough of all the other materials, so let's just fill it up with steel plates. Right out! Right back to the uh, thingy. Construction site. That's the word I was looking for. Also, I have actually, when I'm already talking about different space themed games, I know it's not a survival game, but it's space themed. And it's kind of interesting. I've started playing um, Civilization Beyond Earth again. Interestingly enough. The thing with that game is... If you like the normal Civilizations game, then this is maybe a game you don't like. And it, it felt for me the same. I played it when it came out for, I don't know, a day or two. And then it absolutely did not catch my, my, my play spirit anymore. Which is not normal for Civ games, because Civ 5, I've played for like 900 hours or something. It's, it's some ridiculous large number. And even Civ 6, which I have been hesitant about for a long, long time because of the new art style. When I bought that, I even played that for a long, long time. And I will go back to it eventually. But um, now I, I um, in an effort to uh, clean up my Steam library and finish games that I haven't finished yet, I started doing some more uh, Sif Beyond Earth games. And actually, I didn't even know that there was a add-on for that game. Riptide, I, or is, I think it's called. Or Rising Tides. Yeah, right, that's what it's called. And it makes the game much, much better. It acts as more factions and a new diplomatic system, which is kind of nice. 
adds, adds new wonders and new planets and new things to do. Like with almost every Sith game I've played, um, the add-ons really make it good. It was the same with Sith 5. The base game of Sith 5 was meh. And then with um, Brave New World, that was the second add-on. It went absolutely fantastic in my opinion. So yeah, I'm actually really enjoying Beyond Earth right now. It's a kind of interesting game. And I'm trying to get all the, the stupid achievements for that game. And this is one of these games that every achievement takes hours to do because you have to finish a game properly to get the achievements. And, you know, that takes a while. Even if you play on fast mode, it takes a long, long time. And I, I forced myself to play on normal speed because normally I play Sif on, um, <laughs> on Epic or Marathon. Because it, it gives you more time to do war. That's the pr most problem I have in the most Civ games. That you go through your tech tree too fast to actually enjoy your unique units in the normal Civ game. But if you play on Marathon, you can really... You really stick in one period for a long, long time. So if you have special units in that era, you can actually really abuse these units for that time. But of course, if it's past that time, then you have a long, long time where you're getting weaker and weaker. So, swings and roundabouts, I guess. So yeah, that's just a little rant about what I'm playing next to all the things I'm playing on the channel right now. Well, I also do some random Space Engineer stuff every once in a while, and some other minor games. I, I played some Ace Combat. The Assault Horizon one and almost broke my controller on the final level because it's really difficult. <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. And we're almost finished with this chore here. That's always the biggest like thing to get through, the mass welding of steel plates. It's something that's not very pleasant, but it has to be done for the sake of structural integrity of the ship, right? I mean, there's some ships where it actually looks really cool if you have bits of the ship not welded, you know, it, it looks like a scaffolding or just like, you know, like steel beams uh, just put together just to, like an antenna or something. It looks really cool, but most of the time I actually like to completely weld my ships because it just looks better, but, you know. Right, so now, um, let us think about the design. So, as I said, I, it would be nice if we had some kind of, I don't want to say airlock, because it's not going to be double-doored, but um, some kind of um, a barrier between the staircase and the um, the command room, so to speak, or the bridge, rather. That's what it's um, normally called on ships, isn't it? So, something like that. You know, you come up here, um, then there is going to be a door here. Here you can, we might put some... I don't know, some equipment? Oh wait, no, 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 I'm an idiot. I, I didn't do that thing. Ah, I forgot about it. Uh, let me grab all the necessary parts to weld that real quick. Um, damn it, I think I even talked about doing that first, didn't I? Uh, we need that, 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 and what else? That, although we already have some of those because this will influence obviously the design also let's take a look at the room eh, looks nice I think that looks nice the roof it's it's the right size for an observation deck room type I think it works all right let me get the conveyors and obviously we'll have to cut a hole into the roof, which is probably right where the doors are. Oh no, it's actually not. It's it's right here. That's mm, okay. So we have to figure out something else. Uh, although I have an idea. No, wait, 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 wait. Now I have to think really well about this because not only. Um, do we want to have the conveyor up here? We have to 
put it through this room and into the next one as well. Obviously. So one thing that we could do is we could have the door back here. And then just basically do something like that. Yeah, I think that would work. But obviously, before we do that, we have to... Oh no, I can weld it. Even though I have put stuff on it. Because the these conveyors are not as big, obviously. And yeah, I think that works. Oh, out of construction components. Eh. Let me get some more then. At least we have to weld the lower parts. Ah, gracious God! Give me some small steel tubes. Uh, not from here. Oh, come on! Actually, I'm running out of small steel tubes. Ugh, that's annoying. At least on the welder ship, I'm running out. Right, that is connected up, and that is connected up. Right now. Okay. So that means you come up here, you have one, like a one block way through the door. Yeah, that actually, I think that works. And it doesn't feel too narrow, because even though that middle block here is, is blocked off, it's with a, um, with a conveyor, which leaves you a little bit more space than a normal block would, which is, again, works very well for this situation. So there will be a door right here. Shall we actually put it in already? Yeah, sure, whatever. Door. And then... Now, here comes the, the, the challenge or the question or the, 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 the most important part. How is it going to look? So you come out back here. What are you going to see? Is this just the hallway to the the actual um, platform where there's going to be the... Uh... Oh, I could have also... Mm. I just realized I could have put the conveyor up here as well. Eh, not, a, not important. That's okay. Because I'm thinking about something... Let me get uh, some windows... Uh, do we get that kind of slope, I think? Or do we get the, the, the big slope? Uh, the one by two slope. We'll have to check. Oh, wait. Oh, it's combined. Yeah, I forgot. It's combined. Right. So now, I, I'm thinking about something. Let me just put it down real quick so you see what I mean. Actually, I need some girders to do that. Yeah, something about uh, like like this, like a, a, a very angled cockpit, and then here it obviously goes back again. Oh, eh, that's one block off, right here. Ah, the stupid T button is active again. That's why. Like that. And then, obviously, um, in the front, there's going to be... Now, I'm not sure if I want to make it 3x3 three three or 2x3. I think 2x3 is quote-unquote better. Now, there's another question that poses to me. Is it better to have a flat front? Or should we go for a more spiky front? You know, having another set of those. And then a one... Um, tile big uh, front like that would make it look a bit more dynamic I think and then I think at least from here on out we'll have something like this does that work I'll have to check if it works from the spacing that even makes sense or not you know it, it 
it's okay if it's um, a bit narrow here, but of course here we have to at least put in this. Let's just let's just prototype it on this side before we go any further. This is a bit narrow here, so what we could do is we could put in a corresponding slope here. Yeah, I think that actually that works. That works. Okay. Right, and then something like that. Is that is is that looking aesthetically? Is is that okay? I don't know. Sometimes it's really hard to tell if you're putting it down like with bare um, as as a bare construct like that. Sometimes it's really hard to tell. Um, one more, and then like that. And then here, obviously, it comes around to connect up to the door. Like so. And then up here we can... Either we can have some different upper level part here, which we then can connect to another door. Or we can have nothingness and and have like a, a array of turrets here. Not yet design declared yet what it's going to be like, but the thing is we have a bit of flexibility with this design, so we can decide that later, basically. And yeah, we're going double blocks here for now, because I have no other idea. Alright, um, oh yeah, we need to, to, to slope these two. Obviously. Uh, yep, yeah. there we go. I think this works. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This will work. This will work as a concept, I hope. What I'm not 100% sure is if this is airtight. There's sometimes there's like issues with airtightness with with windows and I'm really not experienced with airtightness because in and in creative, you don't have to worry about making ships airtight. Because, you know, you don't have to breathe if you're creative. Which sounds like a weird slogan. Um, but we'll, we'll just have to test that. That is what one of the most annoying things in the end. If you, like, seal off the ship, you know, install every door and then put some oxygen in the system. And you're like, damn, it's not airtight. Somewhere is a, a mistake. That is annoying as hell, because sometimes it's very hard to find where that, that hole is. And actually, most of the times it's gonna be somewhere with windows, or somewhere you haven't have had a proper connection, you know. If you're working with slopes a lot, there's a lot of things that can ro go wrong with that. But yeah. Let me just um, put all of these in here. Banging my my ship all over the place here, <laughs> but yeah, as a base concept, this works, I think. What I still have to decide is if if it's um, three blocks high or two. That's one thing I'm still not hundred percent sold on. Um, the thing is, if we make it three blocks high, then we could do. Um, something along these lines. We could get some some stairs. Or a ramp. I don't know what looks better here. I think a ramp. A ramp might actually look cooler here. And then do something like that. And then put the... The flight seat. Um, right here. Uh, that's not a flight seat. That's a flight seat. So you, have, you can look out all of these windows. And then you can still have, I don't know, some, some of these control stations, like right here, for example. You know, I always like to add some, some more control stations to a, uh, a bridge. So you can have, like, multiple, not pilots, but people, I don't know, controlling turrets and stuff like that. So that's always a nice thing to have, I think. I mean, we could even do something like this. Then you have even more um, 
places where you could have uh, people sitting. That's two, four, six, eight, nine people that can sit in the bridge. That's nice. I think that's good. Let's see if we can at least weld the, the, the pilot seat so we can sit in that and just um, enjoy the view for now. Uh, okay, we're missing something apparently. Pretty sure it's something like displays or, or, or something along that manner that we're missing. Yeah, there's one specific component missing. Also, I mean, do these take um, uh, glass play panes? Let me see. Bulletproof glass. Yeah, they actually take bulletproof glass, but it's the displays that we're really missing. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me actually get some bulletproof glass and displays. If we can. Let's see, some displays. And where is the glass? There's some, and there's some. Should hopefully be enough. Let's first do this window. Then that. Sweet. Oh, and here we're also missing computers, apparently. Oop, black spike there, nice. Always good to have. Just when you think you have a good enough PC to play Space Engineers. Spoilers, you don't. Well, it depends what you do with Space Engineers. You can definitely, like, um, you know... Um, pretty much kill your own piece of space engineers if you do some ridiculous stuff like ginormous ships and uh, lots of, of um, rotors and pistons and let them go off at the same time and then huge amount of weapons firing you can really cr crash down your sim speed if you want to that's something this game really does well <laughs> Let's see, do we have some computer, com computers, computers? Oh yeah, we do. Obviously we do. Uh, but these go into personal inventory. Yes. Oh, that's a lot. Righto, here we are. Finishing up that cockpit, or at least the, the base, um, construction of that cockpit. Alright, that's good, that's good. That one is good. So is that. Yeah. Okay. Actually, um, before we end this, let me weld all these blocks as well. Because they're, I think they are decided upon. Pretty sure about that. But apparently... Oh no, have I run out of steel plates again? Come on. I run out of steel plates so freaking fast. Sometimes it's unbelievable how fast you can run out of steel plates. But right now I don't, um, don't have the patience to fly back with this ship. So I'm just gonna get them by hand. Just real quick. Um... Where are the steel plates? At least I can... Yeah, about a thousand. That should hopefully be enough. Might not be, but... Thousand three hundred. You know, I want to finish this up so we can make a nice screenshot of the, um, the progress for the thumbnail. <laughs> That's always if you're working on a project. You try to... Like, show the best side of it and just complete that side so it looks good. <laughs> so at least the front side is now welded. I'm happy with that. <laughs> of course, we have to put a roof over this as well. And then we have to... That's actually going to be um, one of the... Not challenges, but uh, a point that we have to think about. How we make the roof of the bridge. Because if we're going to 
um, make the glass three blocks high, then how, how high will the roof be? It has to go over this as well. Which actually, if it if the glass is three blocks high, that will actually fit very well. I, no, that would be one block higher than needed if you put a roof on top of that. Then the roof would be on block height four, so to speak. Which, no, actually, that would be perfectly level. Wouldn't it? No. Let me see. Let's just put on... Oh no, block height three would be like on this height here. So the roof would be one higher. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to see about that. Let me sit in the the no, captain's no. chair. Yeah, I think that works. I mean, like this, we have a nice visual um, window to um, to navigate. I think. Maybe we'll put a camera like on the backside, like a. <laughs> Um, a lot of cars have these today, you know, if you want to uh, park your car backwards, have a cam at the back. So we're, maybe we're going to put something like that in as well. But yeah, let me uh, let me do the thumbnail real quick. Uh, I think actually that looks cool. Can I zoom a little bit closer to me? No, apparently not. Right, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.